welcome to the channel today we are going to find out the factors for 12 right okay what do you mean by the factors of 12 look at here the numbers that can divide 12 without remainder are called 12 factors right look at here this is the general rule you can remember the number n factor is the number that can divide n without remainder notice that the factor always includes one and itself that is the factor of 12 will be one and itself means 12. a simple way is to find what pairs of number multiply to get 12 if we multiply 1 and 12 then we'll get 12. That is why 1 is a factor of 12 and 12 is a factor of 12. If you multiply this 12 by 1, the result will be 12. If you multiply this 12 by 12, the result will be 1. So let us write the smallest factor here and the highest factor here. Now what will you do? You have to, after 1 you have to take 2 and now you have to divide 12 by 2. You have to check whether 12 is completely divisible by 2 or not. Look at here. 12. If you divide by 2, then what will happen? That is, the quotient will be 6. So here, you have to put 6. That is, 12 is totally, uh, completely divisible by 2 without remainder, right? So, 2 and 6 is the factor of 12. Okay. So, now we have to consider 3, right? So, what will come here? Now, let us divide. Now, let us divide 12 by 3. Look at here. Here you are getting 2 and 6. So, 2 will come here and 6 will come here. Now, you have to divide 12 by 3 that is if you multiply then you are getting 12 0 that is here we have to put the quotient that is 4 so here you have to put 3 and you will get here 4 right so now you have to write 4 here 4 times what if you divide 4, then you will get 3. Look at here. Already we have taken here 4, right? And already we have here 3. So, so this is not meaningful, right? So, we will write 5. So, we have to go to 5. So, if I divide, look at here. If I divide this 12 by 5, then I'll get 2 and 10. So I'm get the remainder is 2. So 12 is not completely divisible by 5. That is why 5 is not accepted, right? So let us come to the 6. So it will come here. If I divide 6, if I divide 12 by 6, then I'll get 2. That is, 12 is completely divisible by 6. So, I have to put here 2. Now, come to the 7, right? If you divide 12 by 7, what will happen? 1 times 7, 5. So, it is not... 12 is not divisible completely by 7, right? Actually, you have to check for 9, uh, 10, 9 or 10, right? You will not get any number that will be divisible, that will divide 12 without any re re remainder, right? So, these are the factors. So, 6 will come here and so, sorry, here I have to write uh, 6 here, right? And 2 is, uh, I, I already have written 2 here, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 6, 4, 
वन टू थ्री अलरेडी आई हाव रिटर्न अलरेडी आई हाव रिटर्न सिक्स इयर रईट सिक्स इयर सो दिस इज नट मैंडेटरि रईट सो लुक एट हिय यू डोट नीड टू रिपीट रईट सो वन टू थ्री फोर सिक्स टुएल्व दिस दिस सिक्स नम्बर आर द फैक्टर अफ टुएल्व दिज आर द पजिटिव फैक्टर रईट सो व्हाट उल बी द नेगेटिव फैक्टर बिकज यू नो दैट एन इंटीजन इनक्लूड्स पजिटिव एंड इंटीज पजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव फैक्टर्स फर नेगेटिव फैक्टर जस्ट यू हाव टू पुट नेगेटिव सैन बिफो एवरी फैक्टर्स Look at here. If I multiply this one minus one times minus twelve, then we'll get twelve, right? If I multiply minus two minus six, I'll get positive twelve. And then if I multiply minus three minus four, I'll get positive twelve. So these are the uh, factors of twelve. I hope you can expect that uh, you can find the factors of twelve. so thank you for being this video be well and i will have a blog post in the description box of this video you can read that blog post to get more ideas